So you've decided to play GURPS in Foundry and you've heard about all these great modules you can add. Here is my getting started list of modules that I think you will want for the GURPS game aid. Of course, this is nowhere near exhaustive, but here are the modules I start with and why. Of course, the first is PD Foundry. That's how we make these page references work. After you install PD Foundry, you have to go to the journal entries tab and create a PDF. You then fill in the name and the PDF code, and we use the recognized codes, but you can see them here in the GURPS character sheet webpage. And then a URL to your PDF, and it has to be in the Foundry data directory. I created a directory called PDFs, and inside there is where I've uploaded all my PDFs. The next thing you do is press the test settings, and this should open to page five. If it doesn't, then you need to enter the page offset, either forwards or backwards, to get to the correct page. Test again, and we're good. You don't need to save, it's actually already created. If you're using any animations, you need the FX Master module loaded. It provides the underlying play capability. And everybody needs Dice So Nice. I honestly don't understand why it's not part of the basic foundry, but it's not. Please download it and install it. Now the following modules work well with GURPS and they might provide functionality that you might need. Uh, the About Face module, uh, provides this facing indicator. If you're playing with face forward tokens like this instead of top down tokens, and you do play with facing in your game, you need a way to know which way your character is facing. And so the about face is the module for you. Make certain you turn on the snap indicator to closest tile option. The next module is drag ruler. If you notice as I move the character along, you see these green hexes, then a yellow hex, and then a red hex. The green hexes are how far Bog can move in his turn based on his move setting. Yellow is for sprint or enhanced move if you've defined an enhanced move, and red is too far. This allows your players and you to know exactly how far your character can move without having to count. The support in token action heads up display is brand new. And what that allows you to do is when a character is selected, this HUD appears, and in here are basically all the things you can do for that character. You can drag and move this HUD around to places that you like, but if I want to roll for Bog's strength, I can click here. And anything that has an embedded on the fly formula is also included in the heads up. So first aid has the 1d3 healing, so I can roll the healing. Now advantages aren't something that you normally roll, but they may contain on the fly formulas. So the heads up display actually shows you all of those and anything that you've put in your quick notes will appear here too. This is a really useful module for GMs as you're having to deal with tons and tons of NPCs, whichever token you've selected on then changes to all the actions that are available for that particular actor. And of course, we've had token tooltip alt support for a long time. If you download our configuration file, the link's in our description or in the document, then uh, when you mouse over a token, you get this tooltip that appears. And we've defined it to show hit points, fatigue points, move, whatever your defenses are, in this case, dodge and parry, and your perception value. Well, Bog really has a bad perception. And turn marker has one nice feature. If you open up the configuration and enable the start marker, then in combat, when a character is moved, there is this start indicator. So you can remember where you came from if you were trying to figure out a complex move. That's all that it's providing that I, besides the marker, of course, but I think that is incredibly useful. Now for some small, but really nice to have modules. Uh, I like the image previewer. If you're looking for an image, when you mouse over it, a preview of the image appears on the right. And that's very helpful when you're trying to figure out what image to pick. The permission viewer changes the icon over here to color to indicate which user is allowed to see this. In this case, the minor healing potion is allowed to be viewed by everybody. And it's a quick little way for anything. You can see here Alejandro is owned by the red player and Bog's owned by the blue player. This is a very useful tool. Chat portrait is just cute. It just puts the picture of the character in the chat along with the text instead of just the text by itself. And pings is very useful when you're playing with distributed people. The GM and or players can hold down their mouse 
and a ping appear. This ping animation will appear for everybody. And you can even set it up that certain people or everybody has the ability to pull everybody's map to a certain location by holding down shift and ping. So I can make everybody move over to here by holding down shift and left click. And the last useful but tiny little module is GM notes. This puts a GM only journal on pretty much everything that allows you to put in notes that only the GM can see. Of course, that's just a start. You guys can go out and find tons and tons of modules that'll work for GURPS. I wanted to show you these because if this is your first time in Foundry playing GURPS, you may not have known about these modules and they really do help. And as always, thank you for watching.